Hey guys, how's it going? This is The Hidden Seller. How are you? We're going to do an exercise today on color value. And what is color value? Color value is defined as the relative lightness and or darkness of a color. So you're going to be able to see how one color can shift from light to dark by adding uh, certain neutral colors like black and white and gray. So what I want to do is I want to draw four squares. And I do suggest that you get a paper pad like this. It could be watercolor or mix me a paper. They're all different prices. They start from $5 to $10, $13. And uh, any size is okay. I got one for that's nine by 12 inches. And that'll work just fine. And what I like about these papers is that you can draw on them, you can paint on them. They're pretty sturdy. The paper is a little thicker than regular paper. So I highly suggest you get one of these. So what we're going to need is paint, acrylic paint, a pencil, an eraser, water, and brushes. Oh, and also a paper plate so you can mix your color. So what I want us to do is to draw a rectangle like this. Okay, and then I'm going to divide it in half. So I think half is somewhere around, around there. And after that, I'm going to divide this in half. And then this side, I'm going to also divide it in half. Okay, you can use a ruler if you want. Um, I'm just using my eyeballs. So now I have four squares, one, two, three, four. And like I said, uh, I told you guys to put hue first, but on this case, I wanna show you how it goes from light to dark. So I'm gonna start off with tint. This is gonna be tint, T-I-N-T, -T, okay? Let's see if you can see that a little bit better. Well, hopefully you can, there you go. Let's see, there you go, okay. So we have tint, we have hue, we have tone, T-O-N-E, and then the last one is shade. That is going to be the darkest one. So the lightest one is going to be tint, hue, tone, shade. Okay, what you need to start first is with hue. Hue is gonna be your very first one. So for hue, I chose blue. And what I want you to do is I want you to pick one color from the color wheel. So a regular color wheel has 12 sections has the primary colors, the secondary, and the tertiary. So pick one of those colors. I chose blue because I like working with blue. And that is going to be my hue. And what is hue? Hue is basically a color by itself in its purest form. It's not mixed with anything. There's no white in it, no gray, no black. Nothing is just blue by itself. So we're going to put it here in hue. If you put it on the first one, that's okay. But I'm putting it in the second one so you can see the difference between light and dark. And then you can add a little bit of water so it flows smoothly. And I can spread my paint on the square a little bit more. And since this area is square, I like to use square brushes. All right, there it is. That's gonna be my hue of blue. Now what I wanna do, I'm gonna take this blue and blend it with white. Okay, so I have my blue here, I have my white and I have my black. 
So let's go ahead and take some of that blue. And I'd like to separate it a little bit. Not put, I don't want to put the white on here, but I want to put the white on this area to sort of separate things. Then you can get like half of this and start applying it. And look what happens. It starts to get lighter. If you want to make it even lighter, you would add more white. It's sort of a color science. You're balancing things. So now I'm going to go to tint. And look at that. It's lighter, but it's still blue. So this is a tint of blue. A tint of blue. So when I say add highlights, add tints, I'm referring to blend it with white. So it looks brighter. It looks like a sky blue. There it is. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so we have tint, we have hue. We're gonna go over to tone, tone. And tone is actually the hue, our color here, with gray. But we don't see gray here. But a lot of you know that you can mix black and white to get gray. And I'm going to use a different brush for that. I'm going to blend it over here to sort of separate it. So my suggestion is for you to use a little bit of black and take a little bit more of this white color because this color tends to overpower everything. So you want to be careful with that one. So I got a pretty decent gray here okay looks okay maybe i could put a little tiny dot of black and darken it that's pretty good that is pretty good so now i'm going to take this and some blue and i'm going to mix it here okay it still looks a little grayish, so maybe I can add a little bit more blue. You want it to look more blue than gray. If it looks too grayish, you need to add more blue or whatever color that you choose. Okay, so the looks looks okay. I think I'm ready. There we go. Okay, that one is going to go here in tone. And notice that it starts to get a little bit dull a little bit darker it's not as vibrant as the hue but this one is great for mid-tones soft shadows and things like that so this is still a form of blue but it's a little bit darker so we have light we have the regular hue of blue. Now we got tone. And we need to hop over to shade. Okay, so for shade, let's go ahead and clean out the brush. Do we have any paper towels? Always have some ready. There we go. You want to clean out your brush because it, then you don't want to mix colors and things like that, especially when you're using multiple colors. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take this blue, and yes, we're gonna scoop some black here. And if it's a little bit too dark and you can't see your color, your regular color wheel color, then you need to add more of it. Remember what I told you about uh, the color black being very strong and it overpowers, so you have to be careful. Okay, so now that is complete, that's all you have to do for the exercise, just pick one color. I'm going to show you another example that I did a while back. I have three rows, and as you can see, we have the hue, tint, tone, 
shade. Pure color, color with white, color with gray, color with black. We also have green and we have yellow. Notice that tone gets a little bit more dull. Shade looks very dark and the tint looks the lightest. Then I also applied it to a ball. Notice that it goes from light to dark. And how will that look like on actual artwork? Okay, here's some modern artwork that I did with blues. See, I like working with blues. Notice all the, the shades. We got some, some tones. We got some tints. And we got some hues of blue. So it's all blue. This would be considered monochromatic. And on a portrait, how would that look like in a portrait? See, it's got blue, different types of blues. We got tints of blues. We got shades of blues, tones. We got the regular hue of blue by itself. I also did it with the yellow. So it's not flat, but it's got dimension. It's got value and it looks more interesting. And it's showing off a little bit of your skill and technique. So you can advance and get even better. Thank you so much. That's going to be it for today. And be on the lookout. Oh, before you go, before you go, I forgot. Here's one more. Using shades, we got highlights. Notice that things look a little bit more realistic. Just by adding those neutral colors. Okay. All right, that's going to be it, guys. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See you later.